All right, in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how you can target US audiences on YouTube, Instagram, and TikTok. So if you're currently living abroad, just like me, I'm from the Netherlands, I'm active on all of these platforms, and my main audience is the United States on all of these platforms. So I'm gonna walk you through every step you need to do, as you can see right here, uh, for every platform, it's slightly different. I'm gonna start with YouTube, then I'm gonna do Instagram, and lastly, I'm gonna cover TikTok. I'm gonna leave the chapters down below as well, so you can skip around to the part that you need help with specifically because for every single platform it's slightly different and not the same let's start with youtube and uh, whether you live in india australia the netherlands like me or anywhere else and you want to target the us it's actually super easy to target the us from outside on youtube there are basically two things that you need to keep uh, an eye on and that's the language setting um as a technical setting on your account and the video topics plus the interest don't mess with your location. You don't need to change your IP. VPN is not going to change anything. You don't need to change specific things on your phone or laptop. That is pretty much it. On YouTube, it's the easiest to target US audiences as they don't limit the reach based on the owner's location. So because I'm from the Netherlands, it doesn't mean I'm only going to target Dutch people. All right, so this is actually what you need to do. Just a few things to optimize this. First of all, go into your settings, go to the upload defaults and set your language settings right. Set them to English. Obviously in the US they speak English, so that set this to, to English. This is the only technical change you need to make. Now, secondly, and this is the most important part and maybe a little disappointing to you guys, it's simply making content in English and content interesting for US people. And here's just one little example to show you that. Here we have a video how Trump tried to steal the election and here's something in Hindi, something I can't even read. It's about a US president in an English language and most people interested will be from the United States. The exact thing here is happening with India. Most people here will be from India because they are more interested in, the top, in this topic. When we then see it, the results, 90% United States and 65% India on this one. So as I said before, I'm from the Netherlands I'm making most of my money on YouTube from US views and there is no crazy setup I'm doing. I'm doing YouTube automation full time already for four years now. I haven't changed anything on any of my channels because this simply works. Again, don't mess with settings, don't mess with VPNs, with SIM cards. None of that applies to YouTube. Now let's go over to the second one. Targeting US audiences on Instagram. And actually on Instagram, I've done my research on, on YouTube, on, on uh, Google, on some other places as well. And there are a lot of misconceptions, a lot of misinformation about changing your location or actually reaching US use. Don't, you don't need to use a US phone, set your phone in US settings, use SIM cards, VPNs, nothing like that. This does not work for Instagram. And just like YouTube, they don't look at the location of the owner, only at the language and the content. So it's super short but simple, make content in English and interesting for US people and you will target the United States. I've seen some people talk about putting a US SIM card in your phone and that worked. For some people it didn't work. What you definitely don't need to do is, you know, uh, get a VPN for the United States. It's not going to make a difference. But now we go to TikTok and this is the main thing. This is what I had the most trouble with. Targeting the US from TikTok. And TikTok is a <laughs> bitch to get right. You need to do everything very precise and correct or you get shadow banned instantly. So I've tried making TikTok accounts as a US account from the Netherlands for already five times and four times of them, they messed up. TikTok recently made it even harder to do this. They update this frequently to go against this. So please do not skip any of the step of the process as what I'm about to say you is necessary and will work. For this, you actually do need to put your phone as a US phone, US SIM card, US VPN, and much more stuff that I will cover right now. All right, first of all, what you want to do, get a new iPhone. You can get a used one. I have a used one right here. As you can see, it's even a little broken. Doesn't matter, it's, it's just one old one of my sister. Uh, please do a factory reset, or you can get a new one as well, but it's not necessary. Uh, this is an iPhone 11, preferably use iPhone, not Android. Android, it should work, but I'm not 100% sure, and the devices can be very different on Android. Secondly, order you a SIM card. This can be a travel SIM. Don't use an eSIM. It's not the easy route. It's not going to work. It's going to get flagged. So the SIM can be deactivated and doesn't need to be active. For reference, my SIM card in this phone, I've ordered that over two years ago. It's been already disabled for so long and it still works. The only thing we need 
is that it shows you a SIM card, a US phone number in your phone. So here I added actually a picture just of one that I could buy an Amazon TikTok USA SIM card, actually I'll with TikTok branding, but you can buy any US SIM card uh, you can find. You can buy, buy this on Amazon or any local website in your country. Then what you need to do, get your phone, do the setup part, and for everything, select U USA as the country, English as the language, and here it's gonna ask you to create an Apple ID or log in with an Apple ID. Click skip here. Click forgot or don't have an Apple ID. Click do later. Right now you can just log in with your Wi-Fi and follow the normal steps until you're in your phone. Then we want to create an Apple ID, preferably on your laptop or a PC or another device, like another phone, and use a fake name plus US address generator. You can just type in US address generator, get an address, not your real address, just a US address. Then add your email and create a password you remember. And then on the phone, you want to log in here to that Apple ID is set to the United States. Another thing here is make sure location services on your phone are turned off and just make sure that Bluetooth is turned off. For then, everything is good here. Next up, we do need a VPN. Before, this wasn't necessary. And this is where most people make mistakes or where most people will get shadow banned. Um, so we can't just use any VPN. And I'm sorry to say, I wrote it down right here, free VPNs won't work. We need a static US IP address. The reason for that is when we want to post on TikTok and we use a standard VPN address that a lot of other people use, TikTok is gonna know that. TikTok will know that it's not a real IP address. We need a static one only used by you and will always be the same. The number one reason on TikTok, why TikTok accounts get banned is because their IPs constantly change. So to different IP address within the US from a VPN or back to your own one, that is not what we want. So I'm gonna show you the one that I used, the only one so far that I found to work. And that's actually one from NordVPN. I'm gonna leave a link to this in the description as well. It's probably gonna have an affiliate link, I'm not sure. Please believe me that I'm not doing this because it has the biggest affiliate commission, but this really has been the only one that worked for me that didn't get me shadow banned after. So what you want to do, you can just get the basic plan on NordVPN. And you want to go into your account, go to NordVPN right here, and then here you see dedicated IP. And this is actually not even included in the normal package. They sell this as a extra server. So you actually need to pay again. I didn't make the rules, but you need this. Go into dedicated IP right here and hit create new. So for me, obviously I can show because I already did it, already did it, but then select United States. You can select any location. I chose Miami. You can do New York, Los Angeles, doesn't matter. And now you're gonna get a server name with the hashtag, right? Remember this. Then you want to go to your phone, which I did right here. That's actually the phone I set up. And you want to type in a search for a connection. Um, so instead of United States or Australia, you want to type in United States hashtag and then the hashtag that you got right here, right? Then you can connect to that and this is gonna be your own IP address, your own VPN that only you can connect to. So TikTok can't actually see that this is a VPN location. Don't change it, just leave it on and they're not gonna see it. So here, make sure your static IP is always turned on. Another thing is don't remove the SIM card. And this is also why I, remove, why I recommend to have a separate phone because if you're gonna use your main phone as well, you constantly need to change the SIM card. Like you're gonna make mistakes, you're gonna get shadow banned. So please use a separate phone. I, don't, I know it's not the most ideal, but you just need it. So now we're almost done. The only thing we now need to do is make sure that the time zone of the static IP is the same as your static IP on the phone. So for me, it was Miami. So you change to Miami. And then what you want to do to see if it works, download TikTok and if it says plus one on account creation for phone, that means it worked. That means that TikTok thinks you are in the United States. So another both thing is like preferably create a new account. It can work on older accounts, but you need some warm up time, especially when you create a new account. Don't post in the first 24 hours. That's a mistake I made before. Your videos won't get any views at all. So you think you're shadow banned, but please wait 24 hours after creating. So here again, same rules apply as what I said for Instagram on YouTube, post in English and make content that is interesting for you as viewers. But now this is pretty much it. You've done it. You created your own US TikTok account, Instagram account, YouTube account. Obviously for the first two, it was much easier. If this video helped you, please leave a like. You can also ask questions in the comment down below. Make sure to subscribe. I'm a YouTube automation creator. So if you're interested in that, you can check other videos on my channels as well. And yeah, have an amazing rest of your day.